Here is a unique writing style for the ACCA Strategic Business Leader or the SBO exam. This method proves to be quite effective, so I've helped numerous global students to pass their ACCA SBO exam in the past. My name is Steve Chun. Now, my approach is to use the IWPF approach, which means in your answer, Firstly, you need to tell your opinion, which means the issue, what happened really. And then stating the importance, which means why does it really matter. But in addition to that, you also need to tell the examining team that why are you going to be doing this first, why not do it later. So are there any risks that you might be facing if you're doing it? which means to focus on the priority and also focusing on the future of a business. So in other words, whether or not we should take a holistic approach in making sure that a project will not go wrong, alternatively whether or not it really meets with our current strategy and whether or not the strategy needs to change. Because as I said to my SBO students, if one strategy needs to change, all the elements, so including the value per position, and also the ways that you sell your product will need to change. So these four elements will constitute your answer and to make sure that your answer quality look very high. Now I see an example. I've taken this example from the first precinct of the SBO exam. It's called the Cogest Company. And the Cogest Company was a budget airline business. So in the actual exam question from a task two part A, it asks students to use the SFA tests because Coges airline business currently uses cost leader strategy because it runs a budget airline. And it currently spends over $140 million in training their pilot. So it's thinking about on the exam day to introduce the AI flight simulation technology. So if Coges company invests this money in the AI simulation technology, it may save $140 million at some point in the future. Now, whether or not it's suitable to do that. The poor answer will look like this. Firstly, okay, getting a format right, okay, so we've got a subheading, I love it. Now, the spend of $140 million may be saved from investing in the AI flight simulation technology. Okay, this is your point. It's absolutely fine there, so let's see then. Okay, because you've said you can get the saving, but it then says this is good for Coges company because with more profit, more dividend will be paid to shareholders and the shareholders' wealth is increased, and in turn, savings can be invested in other areas, for example, upgrading the aircraft and so on, and really benefits the business in the long term. What do you think? The whole paragraph, you've used many, many words to talk about, yes, we've got savings. That's it, and no more than that. As you can see at the same time, the whole paragraph is not just talking about, okay, so you've got savings from that, but to further expand the answer by saying that saving is good, instead of saying we're not investing in the AI flight simulation technology is good. Because if you've got savings, yes, you've got more profit, you've got more profit, more wealth, and then we can spend the money out somewhere else. Waste of time. Because you're not answering the question from the second sentence onwards. So therefore, my approach is proven to be quite successful in the past. I invented this method, helping numerous SBO students to pass this difficult exam. Firstly, I will need to tell the examining team what will be the issue. Yes, you're right. Investing in the AI fly simulation technology save costs in the future. But why does this matter? I will say that currently our business is a budget airline business. The margin will be quite low. So very important to keep the costs low. And then I will say the priority, which means are there any other ways? It's off. 
simply investing in the AI flight simulation technology because it seems that we are the very first time to use this kind of technology where not they will be carrying additional risk to the business. So otherwise, yes, we need to think about that. And also I need to touch on the future aspect. So for example, yes, by investing in this area, we can save costs meeting with our cost leader strategy, not changing our strategy. Yes, this is our future. We don't need to change. So bringing all these four elements into a paragraph, I will structure the answer like this. The project will help the company to save future training costs and will benefit this low margin business. Okay, I've got the issue and why did this matter into a single sentence. So when you're reading a sentence here, you can find the information point. And to keep low running costs and high asset turnover ratio, yeah, I, I put a little bit things in there because I've done the pre analysis in depth. So you know exactly how to improve the quality of your answer. So turning this around, so which means that high asset turnover, having more passengers will certainly increase the revenue in this industry. Yes, will be key to cogest. And this meets with the low costs strategy, which means the cost leader strategy. Okay then, this talks about the future. How about the priority? However, as you can see whether or not there will be other ways to save future training costs rather than simply investing in the AI simulation technology because the company never did this before, it may cause additional risk related to AI to the company that we need to manage, which means we are talking about the priority. So within this answer, I can explain my point in different angles. Not just saying to the examining team, okay, we've got savings, we love savings, we love money, why not? So hopefully, this will give you some thought of how the SBO exam question is structured and how it should be answered. I look forward to exam success soon. Bye bye. APC, accounting for your future.